In this update, we have a look back in time at the Super Typhoon Ming Pete. We took the International Space Station about four minutes to fly over the Super Typhoon. The Pegasa, which is the Philippines Weather Agency, is now monitoring Typhoon Tremai. Uh, Pegasa has three flood advisories for southern regions of the country. Welcome to an update for Force 13 on yet again another typhoon that has now entered the Philippines area of responsibility. And we also have Invest 93 and 94W. Typhoon Tremi or 28W is currently located 660 nautical miles southeast of the Kadena Air Force Base Okinawa and is tracking west northwest at 9 knots. Animated Enhanced Infrared Satellite Imagery T picks a 13 nautical mile diameter central dense overcast feature with a 10 nautical mile ragged eye. And this is the latest track chart from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre. Force 13 will continue to bring the latest information on this typhoon that is intensifying. An 89 gigahertz image indicates a rapid consolidating system with spiral banding wrapping into a compact eye wall and microwave eye feature which supports the current position with high confidence. Uh, it's located 17 decimal 3 degrees north, 134 decimal 3 degrees east, winds around 95 knots with central pressure 962 and it is dropping. Typhoon Tremie has rapidly intensified 45 knots over the last 24 hours from 50 knots to the current intensity of 95 knots. Low vertical wind shear and a typhoon is tracking west northwest along the southern periphery of a deep layer subtropical ridge enhanced to the north. Now here's the second satellite imagery of the typhoon up to a few hours ago. The typhoon is expected to track west or west under the steering influence of the aforementioned steering ridge through the next 36 hours and after that a mid-latitude shortwave trough will deepen over the East China Sea, Western Japan creating a broad persistent break in the steering bridge. 
This will result in a slight forward turn and significantly decreasing in track speeds as the steering influence erodes quickly. Track speeds are expected to remain slow over the next 72 hours as the steering which slowly rebuilds to the north. Now here's some tracks on the Typhoon. The system is expected to return to a rest or press course with the exception of the HWRF GFS model or models The next cycle intensity guidance and one model has it around a mid-range cat 4 Around the 120 hour mark the GFS HWRF solutions show a sh sharp northward track towards the Waikuku I know I haven't got this one right islands in the extended period which is deemed unlikely due to the excessive interaction with the mid-latitude shortwave trough now here's a look at the NOAA floaters on the Typhoon the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre official forecast favours a slow west-northwest track towards Taiwan and Ishigagai Jima an apology on the, the pronunciation as supported by the bulk of the model guidance and hopefully in the next day or two we might be able to see the International Space Station flying over the Typhoon Here's the latest shear tendency. You can clearly see where the typhoon is currently located, and as mentioned, the environment is very friendly towards the typhoon. 850 minute bar for And the other area of interest is due east of where the typhoon is located. And one of my uh, favourites, the upper level divergence. Uh, it's currently around 20 to 30 knots. And considering my location over here on the east coast of Australia, November the 1st is the start of the official 2018-19 tropical cyclone season. Now here's a look at the latest wind shear and a couple of uh, models this is the I think it's the GFS followed by the HWRF You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, with you at any time. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribed hopefully. And you can also follow our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text. Videos are now there as well. And you can follow us on Twitter, at Force 13 is our handle. And it's hashtag F13 Sulik if you'd like to draw our attention to anything in future live events or whatnot. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron with its various rewards that come with that feature as well. And you can add me personally, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord and Force13 on Skype for tropical weather chat.